Well, hey there, everyone. Uh, how's it going? So today I'm going to show you or hopefully help you, give you some tips, all that jazz uh, on how you can get your very own PS5. The PS5 was released in November of 2020. So we're coming up on two years and these are still extremely hard to find. Imagine that. And it, the, you may notice online the prices are like $700 and you want to get retail price like I did. Then you're going to want to follow these tips and tricks and probably stuff that you already know if you got this far into looking to get a PS5. And yes, I know, don't you love the framing of this video? Uh, this is the best I could do and it's killing my legs. So I'm going to speed through this. And now I'm sitting on my knees instead of one leg up. <laughs> First thing you're going to want to do is go follow this person or people online on Twitter right now. Here we go. This person, PS5 in stock alerts. Follow them because they have been very accurate with the times and the updates and everything that they post. Um, I can always find them in stock, but they're very tricky to actually purchase. So Amazon, Best Buy, GameStop, Walmart, those are the big places, Target, you will get in stock alerts for those places from that Twitter site. So it's very handy, very useful. But I only started to search for this PS5 uh, a month ago in March. I started at the end of March. At the end of March, Walmart had a drop for the digital version. Just the digital. It was a pretty big drop from what I know. And, but you have to be Walmart exclusively membership. So I had paid for that, which is not a big deal. Um, it's like 12 bucks a month. So it's like, how much do you want to get this PS5? Another, it's another $12 for one month or two months, however long it takes you to do it, to be able to get one. Is that worth it? To me, it was instead of paying 600 700 800 900 whatever you have to pay. I wanted retail. And it really helps that I actually work at Walmart, so I get an additional employee discount, which was nice, extra 50 bucks off, so it paid for itself, you know, the, the membership. And now we actually get it free. Workers do, you, you, whatever. But I already paid for a whole year. None of that matters for this video. I'm just rambling. So whatever your preferred site is, like if you really like Target, you, if, they have, if they have a membership thing, sign up for that. If you really like Best Buy, I think Best Buy was one that also had a membership thing exclusive. Uh, Walmart just seemed the easiest. Amazon, good luck. You're probably never ever going get, to get one from Amazon. They do become in stock probably the most often, it seems like. But that doesn't guarantee that you're ever going to get one. I never even got close with Amazon because there's not a set date or time for these things to happen. With the Walmart one, it was very much a set date, a set time. Uh, I missed the first the first one, the digital one, which I'm glad now because I, I, I wanted the digital one at first because it's cheaper, but I'm glad I got the disc one because now I can watch the 4K Blu-rays. And, you know, it was kind of a blessing in disguise that I missed that first one. But at the end of March, they had a drop. And I was notified you had to be Walmart, a paid member, but I just missed it by an hour. I was really busy that day and I just kind of forgot about it. And I, I should have been, I was starting to get serious about getting it, but I wasn't super serious yet. And so this next month in April, April 25th, sorry, no, when, when is today? Today's April. It was like April 15th, I think, was a next drop. And you had plenty of time and plenty of notice for the next drop. And so I was prepared. I was actually at work. When the time came on the dot, I was in the queue. I was refreshing, refreshing, and then bam, at the, at the very minute of the hour, the queue started and I was in it to wait for eight minutes and your chance to buy the PlayStation 5. And this was my first time ever getting in the queue and it, and it worked and I got it. Pretty easy, pretty simple, honestly. I feel like I could do that again. I just have to have the right, I just got to know the date and the time, which they're pretty good about letting you know. And the, uh, the Twitter account does let you know as well for the Walmart ones. But if you do the Walmart one, you can just look at the app every day and they'll eventually have a little announcement or an ad that says exclusive item on this day. So that's my biggest tip. Go to, go, go to the Walmart one. Try that out because that's been the, the one that I feel like is the easiest and most consistent. Um, and the, the drop dates are, are actually there. You know, Amazon, it's all speculative. Like when those guys will tweet those posts, they'll be like, rumored big drop on Amazon at this time, this time. 
but those are like all well, kind of rumors. On the Walmart side of it, they were very upfront, and there was a very set time and date, like a week before or a couple days before, and then bam, boom, bam, got it. So that's my tips. And I know that's not much, but I can just share my experience with you. And uh, happy hunting. I hope you get it. If you're here to uh, watch me unbox this thing, then stay for the next part. But if you're not, then uh, good luck, have fun, and if you take it serious, you'll get one. If you really, 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 really dig deep and you know you'll get one so stay confident and don't get don't get discouraged if you miss out on some because i know it can suck but you got this all right we're back i got it all knifey tool okay so let's open this thing up shall we i'm so excited i know it's gonna be terrible like oh i'm cut off but you know you work with what you can i'm not a prof professional i don't have the the top-down camera skills and I guess I should show off the box. So this is the box. Hello guys. And it's so heavy. There's the side of the box. There's this side of the box. Oh, and look, mine has a goddamn bent dent in it. Uh, here's the back. Ugh. Oh, wrong way. Lightning speed, way like never before. Ugh. I'm not gonna show you the bottom. All right, here's this back side. Opens up like so. Come back in here. Oh. Whatever, I should just lift out, lift up. No, oh, I needed some help for this. Here we go. All right. Oh. Oh. Look how clean, how nice, how white. <laughs> All right, let's set this aside. I still have my old PS4 box, by the way. My PS4 is seven years old, eight years old almost at this point, and I still have it. Let's put it back somewhere. There we go. Okay. It's very hot in here. I'm very sweaty. Okay, it says, it has a little instructions here. Okay. Pull this part out first. We got this thing, uh, which will open this up. Ooh, ooh, ooh! It's your whole thing. Do what you wanna do. My computer just went off. Okay. Got a power cable. Oh yeah, heck yeah! And it's one of those. I was worried that it was gonna be a triple prong, but it's a two prong. Uh, dual sense five, baby. Ooh, let's see. Is it? It looks great, huh? This angle. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. All right, let's get some hand grip on there. Wow, feels nice. Buttons feel good. Haptic feedback is supposed to be. PlayStation button is now just a button of PlayStation. It's not a circle. There's a mic mute button on the on there. That's cool. So it looks like there's a uh, it takes USB C now. And then there's the mic mute button. I'm so excited. My camera or my microphone is on the ground in front of me. Which is bad because here I should move it up. Okay, now you now you shouldn't be hearing my foot feet as much. <sighs> Manual. My back is starting to hurt for being hunched over. Manual. No one needs that. Garbage. What's this? What's this? Epic HDMI cord that I'm not going to use. <laughs> but it's cool they give you one. No PlayStation branding on it. That's lame. But I think, yeah, I have some that run up into my setup. This looks like a stand, which I will have to use.
because mine will be a standing console. So yeah, I don't know, we'll have to... We'll have to see how this thing works. Like, what's this, you know? What's this? What's this? Oh! Absolute back torture pain. Alright, here's the system itself. Alright, we're gonna lay it down on the side. Lay it down like this. Here comes the beast! Whoa! Oh, there's nothing else in there. Now this thing is heavy. My word, it's heavy. I hope that my... I have a... I have a shelf that I mounted that's supposed to hold this thing. I might just have to... I might not put it on there. Ready to take off into space. Now this doesn't even have... It has Sony right there. Oh, there's the PlayStation logo. All right. The disk drive, I don't like... I really don't like how this is designed, but... Whatever, you know? They didn't give me... A, they didn't give me a cord to charge my controller. Now that's messed up. Unless it's in the box that I knocked off. And it's not. So I'm gonna have to use my own charger. <sighs> yeah! Alright. So there we have it. There's your sick ass unboxing of the PS5, everybody. So, uh, thanks for watching, and. What if that just tipped over? Oh my god. Thanks for watching, and subscribe, and leave a like, and bye!